and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes sports channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes okay so today's problem of the day is subtraction in linked list which is a hard level problem but i think the logic behind is a bit pretty simple but there are several edge cases which is making this problem a hard okay so yeah let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two nodes of the linked list i am expecting here that everyone know what is linked list so we will be given two nodes of the linked list which will be the head two heads of the linked list which will be denoting the numbers so basically one link list will be denoting one number and another link list will be denoting another number and what we have to do we have to find the difference between those two like suppose let's say these both are numbers and now we have to find the subtraction of the numbers so this is pretty simple and we have to return the new link list in it that way okay with the having the answer all right so yeah it's pretty simple i think the problem statement is clear so now how are we going to solve this so basically look one zero zero one two these are two link list we can see now how, how are we going to find a difference so if you will see this 100 can we say it 100 and this 12 can be sized to 12 so 100 minus 12 is 88 this is what we have to do and we have to not return the straightforward number we have to return a link list okay so the problem is how are we going to solve this so i have written something for you now let's jump on the note section where we will be discussing the approach of it okay Okay, all right. So subtraction and linked list. If you have read the problem statement clear, it was written subtract the smaller number from the larger number. This means what? This means suppose there is a first linked list which is representing this 0063 and there is another linked list which is representing this 710. So in this way, if I will do something like 63 minus 710, yeah, the answer will be negative numbers. Okay. So we don't have to do this. We have to return, we have to find out, let's say, uh, the if we have to subtract the larger number and the smaller number so it will be something like 710 minus 63 okay so this is the key here this is the thing so the answer will never be in negative first first point is that okay all right i think that's clear so how are we going to solve this look it's very simple if you will see the what will be the approach the approach is very simple we will be simply reversing the linked list because look otherwise what you have to do we first of all we know that uh, we have to first of all find the difference of this and then this in this way okay so but uh, we will be given the head so head is will be zero here and seven here so how are we going to do this so for this we have to reverse the linked list okay so if i have 710 and i have 63 so i will reverse both of them so after that i will first of all subtract this 0 minus 3 which will be 7 something like that. in this way we are going to do this okay but before that we have to find out which of the linked list is denoting the larger number because we don't know which of the linked list is the larger number okay so how are we going to find out the linked list which has the larger number we can find out the by the length of the linked list so suppose one linked list length is 5 and another linked list length is 7 so which one is greater seventh linked list with seven is greater seven numbers are greater but there is one more catch here and that is if there are some preceding zeros in the linked list like 0063 the actual number is 63 but the length will be four now because zero zero is there so first of all i have to remove those numbers okay so the first step is first step is find which linked list represent the higher number and the sub step of this will be first of all remove the preceding zeros from both are linked list okay this is first and very simple we can simply do it and after that we will find the length of the linked list okay after that we will find the length of the linked list and whose ever length will be greater that will be my larger number but but if the both of the numbers have same length then what will be the things so look one of the list is seven six five its length is three and another one is seven four one its length is also three now which of the linked list is greater so we will be starting from the head i will compare which of the head is greater so both are equal then i will move to the next part so six and four so here i will found out that oh six is greater six one is greater than four so this means this is the larger number and this is the smaller number so in this way in these three steps i can find out which of the this step one will be clear find which link list is smaller one and which link list is higher one. after that to fulfill the subtraction we will like let's say reverse the link list so we will be reversing the link list and i think i'm considering this you all know how are we going to reverse the link list okay and after that look after that it's very simple let's say my now new link list will be zero one seven and this will be three and six okay so how are we going to do this first of all zero minus three so i will be taking the carry so i will take the carry from the data dot next or let's say head one dot next so i will take the carry here it will be one zero and i will do this something like zero so now the new link list will be what let's say my new link list i will 10 minus 3 7 okay 7 will be here all right no issue so i will do something like this into my result array result in case let's now this one is now i will move to the next part so this is done this is done the pointer will be at this point and this point again zero six i will be needing some carry so i will take one carry here so the new number will be 10 okay so 10 now it will be six here but i will be taking one carry here i think everyone knows how subtraction is done so uh, yeah now 10 minus 6 this is 4 so 4 look i will make a new node of 4 my current head answer head will be at this point i will make a new node 
4 with value 4 i will make this point this no node point to my answer link list something like this now i will update my head to from 7 to 4 so head will be here okay after that what after that i will come to the 6 but look the loop will be executed now because this one is null i will come out i will simply do 6 oh 6 okay so i will simply do 6 here add the new node so that 6 value and point it to 4 so our answer will be something like 647 okay uh, i hope if i've done it correctly so it will be 647 yeah i've done it correctly okay all right so i think the step 2 is clear step 3 is clear i will not be explaining how we will be doing reverse link list so let's simply jump onto the code and write a code for it which is very simple just few edge cases are there which we will handle but 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 before if you have loved the approach if you have loved the uh, way of explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share your feedback and now let's jump onto the code section for it okay Okay, all right, let's write the code for it. So I've pre-written two of the codes which we will be using. First one is to get the length of the link list and another one is to get the reverse head of the link list. Okay, so these are the two codes and I am considering everyone knows how to do this. All right, so yeah, simply let's go with the first step which we which we I have already explained into the notes. First step was to find out which link list is greater. Okay, so to find out this only, first sub step was to remove the, uh, let's say, preceding zero. So how are we going to do this? Let's find out. So while head one dot next, uh, let's say head one not equal to null and then head dot next ah, sorry head dot data equal to zero so how are we going to do this i will simply do head one equal to head one dot next okay something like this here it will be head one now uh, we will be just copying this pasting for the head two as well and i think why we are we do why are we doing this it will be clear because uh, there can be some preceding zeros and on reversing it will be like changing to the actual digit also the length will be affecting as well now for that simply find out the length int n1 equal to let's say what's the name here length of uh, head one similarly we will find out the length of head two n2 equal to length of head two okay so how are we doing this we will be considering that head one will be greater and head two will be smaller but if head two is greater we will just swap the nodes swap the uh, head and it will be easy okay so if n2 is greater than n1 then it's the issue because I'm, I'm taking out that n1 is greater so i will be write all the logic for n1 greater but if n2 is greater i will simply swap so how are we going to swap node temp equal to let's say head one head one equal to head two and head two equal to head one something like this very easy very simple isn't it after that look after that, look if both the lengths are greater then we will be starting to compare the value and whose ever value first will be greater so that will be thing the thing so if n1 equal to n2 then we are going to again do something uh, for that let's take uh, the temporary nodes tmp1 equal to head one because i don't want to change my head one and similarly tmp2 equal to head two okay after that we will we will run the loop because i told you first of all whose data will be different then that will be the thing that will be the whose data will be greater that will be my larger link list okay it's very simple the logic so something like tmp1 dot data equal to tmp2 dot data it means in these data are equal so i will just keep on changing okay so tmp1 dot equal to tmp1 dot next and tmp2 equal to tmp2 dot next in this way we will be just updating and if let's suppose at any point of time anyone is null okay because look both of the lengths are equal so if let's say both are 999 999 it means what in that case we will be simply returning zero okay so if t1 equal to null tmp1 equal to null it means it means what it means that look tmp1 equal to null so at that point tmp2 will be also equal to null so we will simply do return new node with value zero in this way okay all right and otherwise and otherwise i will come out of this loop yeah so here look we will find out if look if for that node t2 dot data tmp2 dot data is greater than tmp1 dot data so it means uh, tmp like let's say head two link list is greater so i will just be swapping that i think you guys are getting so again i will be writing the same logic which i've written here in this way so now we have after these three after these checks i have found out that uh, tmp that my head one will be my first link list and head two will be my second link list in the terms of larger thing okay now we will be simply uh, let's say doing uh, the reversal so head one equal to reverse of head one and uh, similarly head two will be the reverse of head two something like this and my node answer will be zero answer will be null for this okay and uh, yeah very simple now let's simply run the loop let's uh, do this once again 
okay because i don't want to change my head one and head two uh, at any point of time they might be needed so pmp1 not equal to null i will simply run this loop and uh, let's say the smaller one uh, less equal to zero because we will be using it only okay so if let's say tmp2 equal to null if tmp2 not equal to null so we will do something and if tmp2 is equal to null so in that case it will be zero okay if tmp2 is not equal to null i will do less equal to tmp2 dot data something like this this code is might be getting larger because i do i want to explain it bit by bit okay and after that if look if tmp1 dot data is greater than tmp2 dot data it's very easy now or let's say tmp1 dot data is uh, if it is less so it's it's no use if it is greater it means then i have to take the carry and then at that point i have to take the carry so how are we going to take the carry look if tmp1 dot next not equal to null then only i can take the carry first of all so at that point of time t1 dot next dot data minus equal to 1 it means i am decreasing the value of its uh, let's say the next digit and i will be adding it to my current digit something like tmp1 dot data plus equal to 10 okay i think you guys are getting this i think you guys are getting this okay and uh, yeah this i will come out of this while loop i will create a new node node any i can't take the new keyword here new node and it value will be what tmp1 dot data minus less okay something like this because i'm taking this less because sometimes if the length is one length is greater one length is smaller at that point less will be zero so we don't have to add necessary conditions again and again now look i've created a new node any now i as i told i will be changing the head of the answer so first of all let's write any dot next equal to answer and after that after that what answer equal to any something like this okay because if i'm not doing this i have to reverse the linkage again which can be done but let's say this is a better way and after that tmp1 equal to tmp1 dot next and if if my what if my tmp2 is not equal to null if tmp2 is not equal to null in that case i will be updating the tmp2 as well and i want every one of you to use a pen and paper okay please use pen and paper to try on this code once and uh, after that here we will simply return the answer okay but 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 there can be a case where there are some preceding zeros so we have to remove them otherwise it will be returning giving some errors as well so if there are preceding zero in my answer i will again remove it so while answer not equal to null and then answer dot next let's say answer not equal to null and then answer dot data equal to zero i will simply do answer equal to answer dot next but there can be a case because when all are zeros so in that way it will be zero it will be null so i don't want that so i will simply do answer not equal to null and an answer dot next not equal to null so in this way now i will be getting the result so why i have written this let's say i have got something like uh, 001 in my answer reg list so i have to only return one okay but if there are 000 in that case if i will remove this thing so if i will remove this much so it will be returning null i don't want null so if there is only one digit and that data is zero i don't want to remove this okay so something like this and uh, let me remove this i think it should get accepted it's not a tough one very simply i have explained as well but the code is a bit longer and uh, let's find out whether i've done any blender or not let's take some time okay i've done something e1 oh where i written to it should be tmp1 sorry that's why i always want to take a smaller names so that it doesn't take much time in writing those but here i'm explaining so yeah it's getting accepted let's submit it meanwhile if you love the solution please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and share your feedback okay 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 there's some issue oh okay so i found out few issues so basically first one is this uh let's say reversing the values that uh, this was wrong it would be temp here because temp had one had one had two had two temp i think it's very easy and it was very terrible mistake so i will do something like this and otherwise one more thing is if both the linked list have zero length both the linked list have zero length in this way we have to simply return zero okay so if n1 equal to zero means length of first linked list is zero and n2 equal to zero means length of second linked list is zero in that case i will simply return new node zero something like this okay all right i think it should get accepted now let's try to submit this once again and uh, it took me a long lot of time to debug it i will be very honest with you guys okay and i think it's getting accepted now please come on and uh, yeah so all right if you have loved the solution please don't forget to subscribe the channel it's very easy but there are a few edge cases which you have to need to handle so please uh, sit with the pen and paper and try to understand why i'm doing this and if you find any doubts please ask into the comment section i will be always there to reply thanks everyone for watching and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and subscribe the channel and bye